I think th that's the key to this game is who's going to play with less stress. You know, you can't let the emotions of this first event get to you. Let's get this first semifinal underway. Who will fill out one half of the Ravens final? Will it be Thunderball or Jet Life? It is going to be Thunderball starting off with the ball first. The youngster, 16 years, one month, just in under the cutoff. Yeah, I'm so excited for this, man. We're going to have two unique offenses that we haven't seen. You love to see that in competitive Madden. And it looks like Thunderball already calls a timeout here before even... He must even getting going. Yeah, th maybe this means he has a lot of audibles to set. That's really only the only thing I can think of why he would do that. But you can see he's in this West Coast playbook. He set audibles for that single back doubles north. Looks like he's going to the near and far formations here, which is very popular this year. The, that far tight slots, half back dive is really good. Being told that they he had to burn the timeout because they didn't have the gentleman's agreement at the beginning, so he agreed to burn a timeout. That's kind of a rarity here in the club championships. Wow, yeah, you don't really see that. Uh, that could be, a, I mean, I guess that might mean Jet Life trying to get in his head a little bit here. You know, he knows he's a youngster. Interesting right there, wow. Already a, a shade of controversy early <laughs> in the Ravens club championship. This is semifinal number one. So we get to see this offense. You, you mentioned he's running the West Coast playbook, but he's not running a formation most people have seen. Yeah, exactly. He's in this single back doubles north, which we I haven't seen much, to be honest. But I heard he's really effective in it. He's got that escape artist ability at quarterback. I'm excited. He's got T Tony Paul in the backfield. But I think he's going to be balanced out of this formation. Two wide receivers to the right side, one to the left side for Russell Wilson at the helm. What a season he's having in the NFL. Oh. What a way he's going to kick off this Ravens semifinal. It's the burner, John oh. Ross. 16 years old, your first play in the MCS on the live stage, and you throw a touchdown. You cannot start your Madden career better than that. Unreal play for Thunderball. Oh, John Ross, the boss to the house. Seven, nothing. Thunderball, what a way to kick off the game for the 16-year-old. <laughs> and if you're Jet Life, that's got to hurt, man. You you had you didn't take the gentleman's agreement. You're trying to get in his head early, and all of a sudden, first play, you give up a touchdown. Incredible. Penny returning it past the 30 to the 34-yard line. Take a look at this one more time. Ross just goes right up the seam by the defense. Yeah, great concept, but then he had a corner out underneath drag, and then he had the streak over the top to John Rice, John Ross, and you can see Thunderball super excited about that first play touchdown. You notice his face. He was almost shocked he was able to score that quickly. I know he's confident in his play, but you never expect to score first play of the game. Yeah, you never do, man. That's huge for your confidence going forward. Like we said, he's a little nervous coming in. If you, when you score on that first play, your confidence going forward is going to be tremendous. And TD, I love of seeing players who come in a little nervous. There was no conservative play call in the first play. He aired it out immediately to build that confidence. Yeah, you love to see that coming out, airing it out first play. No nervousness in his game on the first play. So now we got to see if Jet Life can respond, man. He's in this Baltimore offensive playbook. I want to see how he utilizes both these jukeboxes. I think he's going to run a little pistol, some shotgun. You know, they got some strong eyes. He's coming out in this pistol strong slot, first play of the game. I'm excited for this offense. Who doesn't love seeing two jukeboxes? Dalvin Cook and Dante Hall, both with the jukebox ability. Jet Life's first possession, 14 seconds in. It is already 7-0. On first down, little pop pass to Dante Hall. Good contain on the edge by Troy Palomalu. Yeah, Jet Life running a little jet sweep right there to that Dante Hall out of pistol. You know, and it looks cool, man. You see this Lamar Jackson in that Baltimore Ravens uniform, which you don't see a lot here in salary cap. Man, it looks pretty cool to see that Lamar Jackson, number eight. Yeah, you always get a little kick out of in Ultimate Team seeing actual players playing the right jerseys. <laughs> it's a change of pace. Second and long. All coming in motion. Why not? Pop pass to him one more time. Run it towards Troy Apke. Apke makes the tackle early. This Ravens offense not looking like the Ravens offense does in the NFL. No, Thunderball has this jet sweep defense on lock right now. Dante Hall can't get anything going. Look for Jet Life now to come out passing. Looks like he's going to come out in this gun wide trips, which we don't really see a lot of either. And uh, Thunderball in that 1-4-6 meta defense. Three wide receivers out there. Two to the right side, one to the left side. Dalvin Cook on the left hip of Lamar Jackson. Big number eight at the helm, having a phenomenal NFL season. Dropping back, little slip screen action. You don't see too many slip screens running the club championship. That may be a reason why. Yeah, you love to see things that are unique, but then you, you don't want to overthink yourself if you're Jet Life here. I think he's maybe trying to do a little too much, trying to go to the slip screen, which it wasn't a bad call. He blitzed him, but uh, thought about all over it with the user. Close to a block on that punt. It's going to be Dante Hall on the other side, returning it for Thunderball. Spinning back inside to the 29-yard line. How does Thunderball come back out after a one-play touchdown? 
Yeah, man, I, t I, I didn't know much about Thunderball coming in, so you know, I asked around the community, I said, you know, does anyone know anything about him? And they said he's impressive, man. He's a 16-year-old kid, he looked great online. So, 7 nothing with the ball here. Great defense, though, by Jet Life. All right, first play of the game, it went for 70. Second play of the game, he loses three. It's a good average still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he got John Ross in the backfield right there on that halfback dive. Looks like he loves this John Ross card. Back to Tony Pollard at halfback, three wide set. Russell Wilson, what a season he's having. Second and 13, looks left side for Pollard, makes the catch inside the 30. Give him five, set up a third down, a chance for Jet Life to get off the field. Yeah, nice little pickup right there, goes to that halfback wheel. Halfback wheel. Jet Life was all over it though, only got a couple yards on it. Big third and eight here if you're Jet Life, you gotta get off the field here for your confidence. Seven nothing here in semifinal number one. So happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis along with you. The final two spots in the 32 will be filled today. What a journey it's been the last five weeks. Third and eight. Wilson under center. Dropping back. Looking left side, he's got Ross. He's got a first down. Soft coverage on the outside. Allowed the underneath route to pick up nine. Yeah, Thunderball just had all day there. Hit the little playmaker to the left. Jet Life in this 3-3-5 wide defense, which we don't see too often either. Didn't only rush four right there. Not enough pressure off the edge. It looks like he's trying to get pressure off the edge, but Thunderball had all day. Back into that single back. Wilson dropping him back. And he's got to take an intentional grounding penalty. You see the fist bump from Jet Life. Yeah, there he came off the edge free, and Thunderball had no choice but to throw it away, and he gets the uh, intentional grounding. Big loss right there for uh, Thunderball. Clowntry picking up a nice first down on a third down conversion. You're back in the second and 22. Ball's at the 30 yard line. On that last play, John Ross was tight to the formation and had him pass blocking, straight up whiffed. Second and long, Wilson, escape artist out of the pocket, looking, looking, waiting, throwing into coverage. He makes the play over the Cheetah. user, and Cheetah. Jet Life's got to be kicking Cheetah. himself. And Thunderball's yelling out, cheat him. Jet Life looks absolutely sick. I mean, he was all over it. Huge play right there for Thunderball. TD, how many times are you making that read? <laughs> Not many. It was a just standing match, still right? in front of the receiver. Yeah, it looks like he wanted to throw it too, and then he ended up throwing it. Just terrible read right there. He was able to make a play, and John Ross, corner out, went in town, corner out, first down. The thing that Thunderball is recognizing here is that these linebackers in these zones on the outside cannot get out there far enough to cover these corner routes. Thunderball is recognizing that, and he's throwing it to the sideline for an easy completion right there. Here in the one-minute mark in the first quarter, Thunderball on the drive after the conversion on second and long. Michael Pruitt going to be split off the line to the left side. Tony Pollard in the backfield, Pruitt in motion, back tight to the line. Wilson dropping back, pressure off the edge, down goes Wilson, and Smith able to get the first sack of the game yeah. for Jet Life. Great heat right there for Jet Life. Talvin Smith off the edge, untouched. We gotta see if Thunderball can pick this blitz up now. And you don't see this Russell Wilson often too. He's got that escape artist. He's gonna audible here, he's gonna flip the play. Three wide set, Pollard in the backfield. He's gonna have to run one more play before the end of the quarter. Play clock down under three. Wilson dropping back. Blitz picked up nicely. He's got wide down the field. That's John Ross one more time in bounds at the four yard line. Beautiful play right there. I wasn't sure if they were gonna give him that inbounds, but they do. Great corner route right there. Jet Life has no answer for these uh, corner routes that he's running out, rolling out with. And he's gonna have to find an answer because that's all day long right there versus 3-3-5 wide. TD, is it harder to change your offensive game plan or defensive game plan when it's not working? I would say offensive. I mean, you came in with this offense that you've got down pat. It's hard to switch it mid-turning. Defense, you can always adjust, you know, do different things. So I would say offense for sure. Well, we reached the end of one here in semifinal number one. It is Thunderball. He scored on the first play of the game. He's four yards out from his second touchdown, up 7 nothing. And he's looked super impressive here. He's going to come on that eye form tight. I expect to see a little hatback dive right here to Tyreek Hill. See if he falls forward in the end zone. You got Hill, you got Hall, you got Ross, you got speed everywhere. First down and goal. Stretch run, Hill trying to get the edge. He cut inside and Palomalu was waiting, saying, hey, thanks for coming on inside of my house. Yeah, that's the reason you get that secure tackler ability. Troy Palomalu blows up the stretch right there. Second and goal for Thunderball. 
Ball's at the three yard line. 14, 14. Goes back into that single back doubles. Tony Pollard in the backfield, expecting a pass here. <sighs> you look, look for a halfback wheel maybe to the right side. Tony Pollard certainly a, a good pass catching halfback. Goes with the wheel to the left side. Low Throws ball. Low ball to Tyreek Hill. He comes up with the catch. What a throw from Russell the Love Muscle Wilson. Yeah, squeezed in there. Kind of a risky pass right there. But he gets the low ball in there to Tyreek Hill. And man, this John Ross and this Tyreek Hill have been huge for Thunderball. 14 nothing. I've been really impressed with his offense too. You know, he looks like he has his offense down to down to a T, which and you haven't seen it much at all this year. And just like that, the 16-year-old with a 14-0 lead. And Jet Life getting the ball back. It's first offensive drive. Absolutely stymied. Yeah, Jet Life, you gotta get points on the board here. I mean, down 14 nothing. You already put yourself in a deficit. You play, he said he's playing with house money. As we look at this replay, it rolls out, hits this corner out. Not the greatest read I've ever seen, but it ended up working out. Yeah, man, that Devin White was all over it, and you could see right there. <laughs> Listen, the eBay will be 16 year olds, but even though he, even he knows when he got away with one. Yeah, he does, man. He got a little lucky when he's 16 year old years old. Sometimes you throw a pass like that, and when it works out in your favor, it's awesome to see. Lamar back at work for Jet Life. He's going to keep it on the read option. That wasn't the right read. He loses two on the play. Yeah, very unique offense right here, but it's not hasn't worked too much versus uh, Thunderball's defense. Man, Thunderball's played phenomenal so far. He's going to have to find some sort of ground game because this, this Baltimore Ravens-style offense, it relies on the ground game getting working early. Yeah, let's see if he goes back to the jet sweep here. Maybe a little halfback dive. Looks like a little inside zone split for Cook. Trying to find some room, winding and weaving. He'll maybe get two. They'll call it one and a half, third and long. Yeah, and I don't think Jet Life has any positive yardage yet. I mean, he looks like he's been tackling the backfield on every single play except one. Third and 11 again, just really not looking great for Jet Life. Trying to get that combo, the double jukebox on offense. Dante Hall and Dalvin Cook. Unfortunately, there just hasn't been that much work, room to work. Shotgun formation for Lamar, three wide set. Dalvin Cook on the left hip. Pressure being shown by Thutterball. Nats it in motion. And Jimmy Lamar dropping back, four man rush. Look into that wheel route, that's Dalvin Cook shows off the jukebox, what a move right at the first down marker. And Cook's able to pick up 21. Yeah, that's why you get yourself that jukebox ability, you know, cause he looks like he was gonna come up a little short, hit him with a little juke to the left and boom, big first down for Jet Life, he's back in business. That's why you spend cap on abilities, Dalvin Cook picks up the first down. And now Jet Life's in business, maybe settles him down a little bit. First and 10, he'll throw that bubble screen. Good block it on the right side. That's Dante Hall. Give him, we'll say eight on the play to the 39 yard line, second and two. Yeah, I like the strategy, using that Dante Hall in the slot. He can run a little jet sweep. He can run a little bubble screen with, and then he has that jukebox ability. That's why you use that with Dante Hall and it's paying off on this drive right now. When you're running that, that bubble screen, it's just pure recognition of where players are on the field and going to the wide side. Oh yeah, one of my favorite plays, because you know, like you said, you get that those numbers over there with that blocking, you can hit it every time. See where he decides to go down 14, nothing, little read option. How about giving it to Dalvin Cook right up the middle. Nice cut to the 34, give him five and another first down. Jet Life's offense getting some new life. Yeah, he's finally getting it going here. Big tackle right there for Thunderballs, Joy Palomalu. Looked like he could have got the, to the outside for a touchdown if Troy wasn't there. So great drive right now for Jet Life. He needs it. And he will get the ball at halftime. So a touchdown here is imperative, nearing the two-minute warning. Put on the power eye formation. And why not give it to Dalvin Cook? There's a whole lot of beef to block for Dalvin. He'll pick up nine. We've hit the two-minute warning. Yeah, now we're seeing that Ravens real-life offense coming to life for Jet Life. Um, just looks phenomenal right here on this drive. But you, you haven't seen this at all yet, this power eye formation. Incredible. How many times can we say life in one game? <laughs> Dalvin Cook, left side, first down. Favorite cereal? Life. <laughs> yeah, Dalvin Cook looking great right now for Jet Life. <laughs> but it's, it's bad. Like, once you hear it, you're like, oh boy, here we go again. Yeah, and I love to see this pistol formation, man. Mixing it up, really giving a different look for Thutterball. Inside the red zone. Down 14-0, back into the pistol. Hall coming in motion. 
Gives it to him on a little pop pass. Oh, a little stop and go. Made him hesitate. The jukebox being shown. Breaking tackles. Dante Hall, a beast in the backfield. Great sticker, stick work right there by Jet Life. Gets to the outside. Hits him with the jukebox back inside. Man, if he can score here, he's going to have all the momentum going into halftime. How about that little hezzy just to freeze Troy Polamalu of the user just a second? Yeah, terrific right there. Nice little stop and go. See, look for a read option here. Inside of a minute, it's going to be Lamar keeping it, but nowhere to go on the right side. Nice tackle, sealing the edge. Second and goal now from the 11. Yeah, it looks like what we see in real life with Lamar, but Thunderball was all over it right there. Seals the edge, makes the tackle in the backfield. Second and goal, and I think Jet Life's going to have to start passing there. You know, you need to get in the end zone. You don't really want to kick a field goal in this situation. All right, there, the voice of the former Arizona club champion, Tyler Davis, Nick Mazesco, along with you. Semi-final number one of the Baltimore Ravens club championship. 30 spots have been filled. Final two will be filled today. Lamar, little quarterback power right side. Give him five on the play. Nice change of pace. Really seeing a nice mix-up on offense from Jet Life. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of different things we haven't seen. He came out in that gun, deuce close, didn't like it. Audible to that gun wing formation. Hit him with the QB power to the outside. Nice little gain, but now is where it gets tough. We're at the six-yard line, third and goal. You know, you got to think. I mean, you could probably still run it here, but, uh, you know, you got to think he's going to look for a halfback wheel or a quick slant over the middle. Is it four-down territory being down 14 nothing? I don't think so because there's too much time in the game, but it's really going to hurt if you had to kick three. Fight for it, Dalvin. Down to the one-yard line. Now what's your choice? You're going for it 100% here. I'm putting, the, I'm putting it on aggressive, my ball carrier on aggressive, and I'm, uh, I'm trying to get, get it in the end zone here. What formation? It looks like he's looking at that power eye strong. Three in the backfield to lead the way for Dalvin Cook. Can he fight for a touchdown? Ball just inside the one. A huge play, and we're only in the first half. 47 seconds left. Gives it to Dalvin. Great block it up front, and Cook is cooking as Dalvin Cook cuts into this lead. Phenomenal drive for Jet Life. Way to respond to that adversity. Way to come back. Put yourself back in the game. A huge drive for Dalvin Cook. Man, he looked phenomenal right there. That's what we call old school football. Line them up, hit them in the mouth. Kick is up. It is good with 44 seconds left in the half. Jet Life cuts into the lead, 14 to seven. Yeah, plenty of time here for Thunderball too. You know, we've seen how, how electric his offense has been. He has 45 seconds with that first, with that one timeout. Plenty of time here. Boy, it's always uh, interesting seeing those guys take the hits with the up back. It's just look at the blocking, completely sealed, avoids the user, walk-in touchdown. Yeah, so many guys in the backfield right there, and you can see Jet Life. He's hyped up about it, man. Way to get back in the game. Now let's see what Thunderball, it's been a while since he's been on offense. That was a long drive from Jet Life. Wilson dropping back. Wilson rolling out. They'll just have to throw this ball away. Nine second play, that's some nothing. Yeah, great defense right there. He went with the corner route with a motion slant, just nothing doing. Great defense by Jet Life, second and 10. In that 3-3-5 odd now, switching it up here. Wilson driving back on second now. Pressure off the edge, trying to escape. Nowhere to go. Jet Life's getting mm -hmm. fired up mm -hmm. as his defense standing yep. tall. Star Latulier yep. with the sack. Yeah, Star Latulier right there, That's man. Play. Huge sack. Third and 28. Yep. Jet Life is really turning it on here in the second quarter, man. Let's see what Thunderball does here on third and 20 at his own seven yard line. The momentum swings in a game of Madden NFL football. He's just going to hand it off to Tony Pollard. Nice conservative play call. Jet Life will use that last timeout. 24 seconds left. He's got an opportunity. Yeah, all the momentum is swung in Jet Life's favor, man. 23 seconds. You need a great punt here if you're Thunderball. You don't want to have a poor punt. Let's see what he does. You don't want to kick it off. You don't want to kick it to Dante Hall with that jukebox either. And it's going to be Hall taking the return. Trying to get to the outside. He's got some room inside the 40, 35, 30. Munoz isn't going to catch him. Daniel's not going to catch him. Special teams matter one more time. A chance to tie it up oh, for Jet what? Life on the oh, punt return. Great. There it is. We just so said bad. you don't Best want to kick play. to Dante oh, Hall. A little rookie mistake right Best there by ball, the 16-year-old. And Jet Life takes advantage. That's why you get a yeah. jukebox on that Dante yeah. Hall. Huge touchdown tie game. And the kick is up. It is good. 14 unanswered for a Big man who up. thought he wouldn't be here. He's got a chance to be in the Ravens Club final. Yeah, he's Big playing up. loose, man. It's paying off. All the momentum in his way right now. 14-14. Yeah. 
tough break right there for Thunderball. Rookie mistake. In the words of Elvis Presley, Thunderball is all Number shook four. up. Let's go. What happened here? Why kick it to Hall and how did he get so much room? Yeah, he gave him way too much space. The right side was just wide open. None of these guys are ever going to catch Dante Hall. He didn't even have to use the jukebox. <laughs> it was straight speed. He ain't crazy. He ain't crazy. Four seconds crazy. left, three seconds left, oh. two seconds left. Thunderball completely out of his element. He seemed in firm control, especially after that first play touchdown. Yeah, you got to wonder if, you know, the nerves are sitting in after that after that comeback by Jet Life here. Let's see. Ain't crazy. Nope. Yeah. Tie game at halftime, man. Great adjustments by Jet Life. Going to that 3-3-5 three, three, odd, which has been better defense, and then two great and one great drive, and then a big punt return for him. Easy. Just like that. 14 all at the half. Both these guys in their first club final, and we've got them wired up here at the club. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Cheat him! Cheat him! Cheat him! Let's play. Let's play. Let's play ball, folks. Let's play ball indeed. The Baltimore Ravens throwing in a little extra for the winner of this club championship, a custom built trophy. Boy, does that look sweet. Big shout out to the Baltimore Ravens, a supporter of Madden NFL football and the Madden 20 club championship series. But I'd like to get my hand on that trophy. <laughs> what a nice trophy to put in like a man cave right there, Nick. I know you got one back at home. That'd be a nice A man cave, yes, a trophy, absolutely wow. not. <laughs> I got participation ribbons. As we're ready to get the second Got half underway. Back. And oh, by the way, oh. Jet Life gets the ball to start the second half. Yeah, all the momentum in his yeah. favor, man. If you're Thunderball, you got to step up now. You face adversity for the first time. Oh. You know, this is your first live event, first time adversity. How are you going to respond to it and see what the kid does? Got to find some sort of defense. It's interesting because I don't feel like Thunderball's played bad defense. One methodical drive, sort of pick and pass for Jet Life, and then the pump return. Yeah, he hasn't. And then uh -oh. bubble screen right here to Dante uh -oh. Hall. Hall's in oh! space. What a shoestring tackle. Oh! Saves a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, huge shoestring tackle right there for Dion. Saving go. Thunderball right there. Man, and this is a guy in Jet Life now. He labs moves. with guys like Nene, guys like BKP in the community, well known for their unique offense. And you oh. see it here with this Baltimore Ravens playbook. All the momentum right now for Jet Life. 14 all here in the second yeah. half. Jet Life, his first possession. Yeah. And all the momentum. Nearing midfield, Hall's coming in motion. He's gonna give it to Dalvin Cook over the right side. Maybe gets two. Yeah, he hasn't done much with these halfback dives, these inside zones. He really likes to get to the edge. That's where he's had success more. Um, these halfback dives have been clogged up by Thunderball. Jet Life, the football player at James Madison University, the firefighter. Looking to keep the fight going. How about a little speed option? There was no option there. Yeah, a little power option, speed option right there, and just nothing doing. Thunderball always clogging the middle here. Big third and 12 now for both guys. You know, who's going to step up? Who's going to take advantage here? This is an opportunity for Thunderball maybe to get some momentum, some confidence back with a stop on third and 12. Into the gun bunch. First time we've seen that today, and we don't get to say that too often. Yeah, we don't, but it looks like he's going to get out of it. Audible and around here. Going to a monster stack where you're going to see the offensive lineman out wide. You don't see this really ever. Look for a bubble screen here, maybe the inside zone. Look for a timeout. Jet Life went, wait a second. Do I really want to run the monster stack out here in the semifinals of the Baltimore Ravens Club Championship? Yeah, like I said, you don't want to do too much here. You know, I know you, you, he likes being unique, but maybe something he hasn't ran a lot of. Maybe he has. How would I know? But gun wide trips now. He likes his formation in passing situations. Now, yep. back into the third and 12. Trips formation through to the right side. Tight end on the line. One wide receiver split wide left. Dalvin Cook in the backfield. Natson in motion. He's hit Cook on that wheel a couple yeah, times. The wheel again with a post over the top. Waiting. Good coverage downfield. There's just nobody open. He's going to look right side. Washington's oh in position. Hall oh can't make God. the play at the sidelines. A dangerous throw for Jet Life. Oh exactly, Nick. Really dangerous. And if you're Thunderball, you think you can click on and pick that. But it's now 1-1 because earlier in the game, we saw Jet Life thought he could click on and pick that one. Couldn't. Same thing here. And now Jet Life's going to punt back to Thunderball. 
The kick is away. And by the way, Jet Life isn't going to make the mistake that Thunderball did. He doesn't let Dante Hall touch this one. Yeah, smart right there by uh, Jet Life to kick it out of bounds. Now let's see what Thunderball can do. Back in that single back doubles north, which has looked great, especially the first two drives. Last drive, you know, the switch to 3-3-5 on for Jet Life paid off. Let's see what happens here. Tony Pollard in the backfield. Dante Hall, John Ross, Tyreek Hill. It's a pretty good trio. Wilson rolling right, he's got lots of room. 20, 25, first down for Wilson. And a little leap of celebration out of bounds with the first down. Yeah, nice recognition right there by Thunderball. CZ has all the right side, rolls out with Wilson. Big first down right there. Now a first and 10 for Thunderball. Scored on the first play of the game. Can he get something going on this first drive of the second half? It's going to be Pollard right up the middle. It doesn't matter what cap halfback you have when your offensive line opens up a hole like that. Yeah, real smart right there. That 3 3 5 odd is very vulnerable up the middle. Thunderball recognizes that. Goes with that ace power up the middle. Huge gain for Tony Pollard. Thunderball with that 6 1 9 tag. Shout out San Diego or Rey Mysterio. Not sure which one. Rey Mysterio, baby. Booyaka. Near the two minute mark of the third quarter. Tony Pollard in the backfield, Wilson dropping back to pass. Five man rush picked up nicely when you give him time, Tyreek Hill gets open and Thunderball back in business. Nice post right there to Tyreek Hill that Marcus May back there is not quick enough to get there. Nice possession catch, huge first down with Thunderball and he's looked great on this drive. Dime over the middle, you give him too much time. Tyreek Hill's gonna find some way to find the open space. Yeah, Jet Life switching up now, going to this 3-4 odd look. See if he uh, brings the heat right here. A lot of hot routes by Thunderball. Wilson dropping back to pass, waiting. Finds Hall, left side, first down. How fun, by the way, is it, Ty, that right now, because we're playing Ultimate Team, is we got Joker and JS the best in our second semifinal coming up next. How fun is it that in this game we have the two leading candidates for MVP at quarterback in Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson? Yeah, fun stuff. Tony Pollard here with that ace power. One move. No, out of bounds. Nice short run right there. And it looked like in the previous play that Thunderball did have the streak over the top. And uh, Jet Life recognized it, but he think he was a couple steps behind, but he went underneath the Dante Hall. The great part of Madden Ultimate Team is you can see just about anybody playing in your team's colors. Jet Life running with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. Thunderball with Russell Wilson. I formation. Twin tight end on the right side. He's got Hill in at halfback at the top of the eye. Tight end motions left side, give it to Hill on the dive. First down and more inside the five yard line. Thunderball looking to reclaim the lead. Yeah, nice run right there with Tyreek Hill. I haven't seen Jet Life play a lot of good run defense. If you're Thunderball, you got to recognize that and go to this run more in the second half, which he's done a couple times on this drive. And it looks like we're going to go to the end of the third here. Will they run one more play? He will not. Put your fours up in the chat. We are where we started, all tied up. Five minutes remain. Who will represent one half of the club championship? Hey, don't forget, all 32 of the club championship finals will be on demand over on the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. You can catch up on all the action before the club championships in 10 days time. We've had some great matchups. There's some games I'm gonna go back and watch. Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of these guys you can learn so much from. It's been a great two days here. Five minutes remaining. Little oh, stop and go, and Tyreek Hill finds the end zone. The 16-year-old reclaims the lead. Yeah, great sticker right there. Little stop and go, boom, to the outside. No one touches him. Huge drive for Thunderball, man. 21-14, and now it's down to Jet Life. Five minutes to go. What's he going to do? If you're Jet Life with your offense, are you hoping this is the final drive of the of regulation at least? Uh, I mean, you can't. I, trying I, to score quick? I think there's too much time here to try to clock out the game, but you know, you want to play your game and be methodical. Look at this little hesitation. Just uh, hey, hold on, and I'm in the end. Zone. Yeah, didn't have to do too much. Just a little. Hey, how you doing? Boom, in the end zone. Take how you quick. doing? <laughs> Words of lights out. How you doing? 21-14. Thunderball on top. 
Well, bubble screen, he's got good blocking. That's Hall in open space. Palomalo, the secure tackler, saves the touchdown. Yeah, Thunderball hasn't had an answer for these bubble screens. If you're Jet Life, you might want to go back to them. He's had a successful one pretty much every time he's ran the bubble. 13-year age difference between Jet Life and Thunderball. Is that playing into today's game? Yeah, it might, but Th Thunderball said he's been playing since he was five years old. So, But obviously, Jet Life, being a Division One athlete, has played at the highest level of college football. So, you know, who knows? But big, and, big and drop And Jet right Life here. knows pressure. Playing football, being a firefighter, this probably oh, yeah. doesn't phase him. Yeah, well, he said that when I talked to him, and he had no stress, no pressure on him. He's just playing house money, and it showed. He's not, he's not, he doesn't look nervous at all. Jackson the pistol will pop past the hall, left side. That play just hasn't been there. It's been great contained by Thunderball defensively. Yeah, it looks like it might, ha might have the edge because he's in that 3-4 like pinch linebackers, but Thunderball's been all over with that Troy Polamalu great stick work right there. And you mentioned Thunderball. He's got some pretty good lab partners. Oh, yah for sure. This is a guy that labs with Kratobin, who is a belt winner, man. You can't, it's hard to lab with, you know, it's hard to get good guys to lab with, and when you have a belt winner in your back pocket that you're playing with, it's huge for him. Second and eight. Lamar in the shotgun. He'll run that bubble screen again. As long as it's there, he's going to take it. Hall will pick up the first down. Troy P with the tackle. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one situation right there. Troy P makes the tackle, but that bubble screen has just been huge for Jet Life all game. I think he should keep going back to it, maybe mix in the inside zone with it. Nice drive right here. What a game we have, huh? This is a great way to kick off the Ravens Club Championship semifinal number one. As we mentioned in the pregame, TD, we thought this would be a close game. Both these guys taking punches and giving them back. Yeah, really has been back and forth. Goes back to that power eye run. Thunderball all over it right there. He's run it three times. The first two times were big gains for a first down and a touchdown. The third time, Thunderball figured out the puzzle. Yeah, he's going to go back to this gun bunch. Open offset, which he hits that bubble screen out of. Let's see if he goes back to it. I'd like to see him flip it to the wide side here. This 146, not terrific defense versus it. Back into the shotgun with Lamar. This time with that RPO, he gives it Dalvin Cook. Both the run and the pass covered well. And Thunderball, happy to have him in a third and long. Yeah, Thunderball's run defense has been phenomenal all day long, man. Especially out of these passing formations. A big third and 13 now for Jet Life to keep your tournament hopes alive. Nearing the two minute warning. Back into the pistol. Two wide receivers out there. He's going to give it to Dalvin Cook. Trust the ground game. Trust the jukebox. He'll get six back, but we'll set up a fourth and seven as we will. Looks like we're going to hit the two minute warning. Yeah, huge decision coming up for Jet Life. Let's see what he does because he does have those two timeouts. Using that timeout early in the half, though. Yeah, that really could cost him. And so we're at the two-minute warning. This is a big decision, Nick. You really got to think about going for this. You got? Do you trust your defense, or do you, or do you think you can get this? It's a huge decision right here. Biggest decision of Jet Life's Madden career on this moment, on this fourth and seven. Can he keep the Cinderella story? He wasn't supposed to be in this final four. Jet Steel having to drop out due to personal reasons. Jet Life comes on in. And he's looking to keep the dream going. Fourth and seven. Timeout taken by Thunderball. We haven't seen Jet Life really have to throw the ball yet. Does he have a pass play to pick up this seven yards? Yeah, he came in here running the ball, but when you need it the most, you're gonna have to pass. To, be the, come the Ra to get to the finals of the Ravens Club Championship, you're gonna have to pass. What does he do here on this fourth and seven? Three wide set for Lamar. Dalvin Cook on the left hip. Two minutes remain in this first semifinal. Natson in motion. He hit Natson before on a wheel route. Natson can stay back and block. Lamar on fourth down. Look at left side. That's double coverage. You can't throw it there. And the white jersey's going the other way. Thunderbolt can already feel like he's got a spot in this Baltimore Ravens final. Yeah, just a horrible read right there by Jet Life. I think, you know, he had to try to make a play and just nothing was there, though. I mean, you can't throw that. You got to wait. Take your time. Just... Bad read right there by Jet Life. He knows it. And just for Thunderball, man, huge stop. You're in complete control of the game. It looks like you're going to be going on to the finals. They're going to clock this game out with 1.51 to go. Tyreek Hill is going to take the stretch. Left side, runs into his own blocker. He'll pick up a couple. Second timeout taken by Jet Life. Touchdown. 
And how about the response from the 16-year-old? Took a couple punches, gave up 14 unanswered, but didn't give up. Yeah, Jet Light took the momentum into halftime, but Thunderball came out in the second <laughs> half, played phenomenal, especially on defense on that last drive. And the 16-year-old kid, man, in his first live event, he's looked great, no nerves at all. Second and eight. One timeout remaining for Jet Life. Down by seven. Hands it to Hill, cuts inside. First down and more. Thunderball's already dancing because he knows he just sealed himself a spot in the Ravens Club Championship Final. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna, you know, if I was Thunderball right there, you know, that might be the inexperience, though. I probably would have laid down right there. Jet Life really has no timeouts. I mean, it's going to be tough for Jet Life to come back, but you do still give him a chance now in this situation. So you would have liked to see him fall down there. Yeah, we're like to see seal him, the game. Yeah, we're like to see him fall down there. Take the knee and get out of here with the victory. There's no need to score right there. You're getting Jet, you're getting Jet Life life, and uh, it's a nice run. Just a simple little in, then out, and once Hill's in open space, you can forget about it. Oh yeah, great stick right there with that Tyree kill. Thunderball in complete control. And, but the, the good thing with Thunderball is you're forcing Jet Life to have to pass the ball, and he hasn't looked great when he's been forced to pass. Lamar, a quarterback draw. That was the one thing we didn't really see a whole lot of from Jet Life. Lamar Jackson was basically relegated to a handoff machine. Well, he doesn't have the escape bar's ability on Lamar Jackson, which is a little surprising to see. He doesn't have that fast break ability. It's just the plain Lamar, which is still obviously good, but just not as good as the escape artists, obviously. So... I mean, it's going to be a tough situation right now. He's coming out in this gun bunch. He's going to have to move quickly, though, if he wants to score. Minute 12 and counting. Gun bunch for Jet Life. Here comes the heat. There comes Apke with the pick. Oh, when it rains, it pours. Jet Life has not been cleared for landing. It's going to be Thunderball with another defensive stop. Yeah, that's been the story of the game. Jet Life came in, not experienced passing the ball, and it showed off, especially in the second half. Just didn't have enough pass plays in order to move the ball down the field. And Thunderball, man, terrific performance right here. Played exceptional in that second half, especially on defense. And the 16-year-old kid, man, first live event. No, didn't see any nerves at all. Great job. TD, is there any better feeling than getting a call the QB Neal in a major tournament? Nothing better, man. Best call in the game. The youngest player in the 128-man field is one win away from the club championships in 10 days. He takes down Jet Life, 28 to 14. What a performance from Thunderball. I'm just impressed with his resolve because there are many players that would have folded after giving up 14 unanswered. Yeah, especially in your first live event, man. He's gonna have a chance in the finals now. He's gotta be super excited. What a great performance by uh, Thunderball. Let's take a look at how this first semifinal happened. Thunderball and Jet Life, first play, first score. Yeah, first play of the game in your first live event, you go up top to John Ross. That was huge for his confidence going forward, and it showed. 13 seconds in. Why not a touchdown on the board? It was 7-0. This play could have changed the game just before the half, a punt return for Jet Life. Yeah, this was a real nice punt return. Didn't even get touched with that Dante Hall. Goes all the way to the end zone to tie the game. Big run right there, and you can see he was hyped about it. Thunderball on the ropes, but what a response. The stop and go for Tyree Kill, the game-winning touchdown. A little stop and go here, and then Jet Life's last chance, man. Just a bad read. That that zone right there with that 10-cap Washington. Huge interception right there, and that sealed it for uh, Thunderball. That is how semi-final number one went down. Here's where we stand. Thunderball is awaiting the winner of semifinal number two between Joker and JS the best. And we are waiting to hear from him. He's standing with Evan. All right. Well, it's an awesome opportunity to interview the youngest player in the 128 man field in this NFL club championship. Thunderball, you made it to the finals. How does it feel coming off that win? Honestly, it feels great. Like I shouldn't like I should have never won that game in the first place. I'm just being honest. I, Why? I cheated. Really? Why? Yeah. Like the touchdown I had, yeah. So, 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 explain a little more about why why you feel that way. I mean, are you happy about your victory? I mean, what oh, yeah, actually went on? Yeah, of course. But, um, like when I got that touchdown with Tyreek Hill, yeah, he got like I felt bad for him. Like I don't like winning games when I've cheated my opponent. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe we should take a look at that opening touchdown. Is that the one that you're referencing no, on? No, the Tyreek Hill, the hitch route touchdown. Oh, gotcha. 
So let's talk about how this game started. I do want to bring you back to that first play. Your first play on stage as uh, playing in the MCS, you had that huge throw and uh, set yourself up for an early lead. Well, he was just, I don't know what he was doing right there. <laughs> <laughs> the honesty, I love the honesty coming out. I don't know, man. And so, you know, I think the bigger the bigger theme here is that you are 16 years old, and that's always interesting to note when so many of these other competitors are in different age levels and just have more time to have played the game. But yeah. how long have you been playing, man? 11 years. 11 years, so since you were five. Yeah. What was that like? I mean, I was playing with my dad when I was playing Madden. Yeah. When I first started playing Madden, but I didn't start, like, take, like taking this game seriously till last year. And we've seen a lot of people at 16. I mean, you look at Henry across the pond as well. You have been obviously a very good player for a long time. What has it been kind of having this year to be able to now compete and then show yourself on the biggest stage? Um, just practice. Just practice. Yeah. Any high hopes? Do you want to win this thing? Do you expect to win this thing? Where, how far do you think you can go? Of in course. Of course yeah. I want to win this thing. If you don't come here with the mindset of I'm going to win this thing, what's the point of being here? All right. Very driven. Good point. Thank you so much, Third Ball. Congratulations. We'll see him in the finals. The Ravens have their first Madden Pro into the final, but who will be his opponent? When we come back, it's JS the best, the Ravens champ from two years ago, up against Joker, looking to make his 